Good morning all, it is Monday morning. I'm actually feeling quite sprightly for Monday morning. I'm normally neither a morning person or a Monday person, but I'm feeling okay today. I woke up pretty early and I feel like I've, I've got stuff done. I've just exported my vlog that's gonna go up tomorrow. Um, so later for tonight when I come back, I need to do the thumbnail and schedule it and everything. But today I'm doing something a little bit different, which I didn't really know I was gonna be doing until last minute um, last week because they contacted me and I thought that sounds like something worth getting involved in. It's basically, I don't know what the official name for it is, but it's a competition run by Childnet, which is like a, I don't know if it's classed as a charity, but a company which helps make the internet safer for children. And it's a really cool competition where kids from primary school and secondary school have entered in little videos to win this competition. So there's always different kind of judges and they wanted me to be a judge as well because they haven't got any other kind of YouTubers. And we basically have to watch the little short films and announce the winners and judge them and I've been watching the videos because we got sent them last week and they're really cute and some of them are really really good as well so I'm gonna go to South Bank which is all the way in town to judge this competition I don't know anyone else going I'm literally just rocking up by myself but it should be good and I think it's something worth getting involved in and promoting because we all want a safer internet for our children so that is what I'm doing this morning Horrible, miserable day. I've just got to South Bank though and realised that I forgot to charge my camera battery last night and it's flashing so I hope I get to film this but if not it's because my camera died but I'm just walking here now. I don't really know where I'm going but I'm gonna see if I can find it. just come out from the competition I've been there for a few hours and I had to kind of judge the videos and then announce the winner it was quite scary actually but it was so good I was so impressed with the quality of the films for such young kids and there was a really cute little boy that won and I just wanted to take him home he was so happy and cute it's quite windy I hope you can hear me I'm home now but for a second before I pop out again I'm going for a hen meeting I am planning my best friend's hen party with her sister if you don't know what a hen party is it's a bachelorette party you call it that in America so I'm going to have a hen party meeting I'm gonna drive all the way to Mill Hill which is an area like very North London um, because my friend has just opened a cafe there you've probably seen in my vlog before that I went to Bluebells in Portobello he's now opened one in Mill Hill too so we're gonna go meet there because it's a really lovely cafe so if you do live in that area definitely go check out Bluebells it's a really nice cafe with like really good food and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat I'm home now I couldn't really film much at our little meeting I'm, this day has turned into a day that really isn't worth vlogging but I'm kind of still going with it hoping that there's something interesting I'm just making pasta, it's literally quarter to three, but I haven't eaten anything since this morning, so I'm just making a little bit of pasta. Um, and then I'm gonna do some work, and then I need to go and do a bit of shopping for LA. I've gotta change some money and get some bits and stuff, and today's the only day I can do it, so I'll be doing that later. I mentioned this on my Twitter recently, but since having my Brazilian blow dry, permanent blow dry, whatever you call it, it's amazing, it's changed my life, I'm still happy I had it but I think it's given me dandruff, which is something I've never had before. I literally, I thought I had nits. I didn't know what all these like white bits were in my hair. Um, but they're like big, sorry, this is a bit gross, but it's like big flakes. Um, and I've never ever had that before. So it's really strange. So I'm gonna, when I go to Boots, see if I can buy some sort of dandruff products, but it also has to be sulfate free. It's really quite annoying. It must've just dried out my scalp, but quite a few people said that it goes away. So if you see any flake bits in my hair, I'm sorry, I do wash, I swear. It's nothing to do with that. It's something to do with the chemicals in the blow dry thing. Just in the Topshop changing room, trying on a couple of things. I need some new denim shorts, mine are so short. I just realized I haven't vlogged since I got back. I forgot I was vlogging today because it's just been one of those days. What did I get? I, don't, I, did, I couldn't find anything in boots. I didn't have any like travel mini sizes left. I got some flight socks. So, flight socks? <laughs> flight socks, um, very important for us ladies. Uh, toothbrush protector. This is for the toothbrush that cleans my braces. I found a travel electric toothbrush. A lot of you guys said they do them in boots. There was a cheap one which looked okay but this one was a bit more expensive and it looks amazing. So you can come in. And I feel like I'll use it on her. Huh? I feel like I'll use it in all my trips. It was £30. 30 quid. Yeah it's expensive but I travel a lot and it's like, um, first of all it's gold and oh. Wait, wait, the reason why it's £30 is because it's USB, I'm talking to Rich by the way, it's USB chargeable, like you can charge it with a USB. That 
is so cool. I got um, some like clear plastic pots and stuff and some Benadryl. Um, so what I got from Boots. I got Honey, my niece, it's her birthday. Um, oh, I feel like you're not going to be able to see it. Can you see that? It's a really creepy head. Um, it's like a Barbie head but it's huge and you can like colour and straighten the hair. She'll love that. And I bought some more of these pyjamas from Topshop because Dixie ate my shorts and ruined them. And I bought some new denim shorts from Topshop because my other ones are like really bum showing. Let me show you these. These are a bit better. And they're a little bit longer. And I bought a white shirt actually. Which looks a bit like the November night one. I haven't actually tried it on though because I couldn't be bothered in the shop. But it's like brushed cotton. And it's got these nice buttons on it. So looking forward to trying that. And that is all I bought. So I think me and Rich are going to now watch Entourage, which we're a little bit obsessed with. Where are we up to now? Six. Season six. And we started a month ago? Yeah. Maybe? We're doing well. So I will vlog again sometime this week. I'm not sure when. Bye. Morning. Sorry for my morning hair and face, but it is Wednesday morning today. And... I think I'm going to vlog today because I haven't got much planned this whole week but I need to have another day to film and today I think I'm um, going to pack for LA and as boring as I find packing I feel like you guys might find it interesting to see my packing process my kind of real non-edited, non-fancy video packing video so I think today I'm going to I like to pack over a few days, I don't really pack all in one go which I know really kind of strings it out but that's the way I like to do it so my first step is picking outfits normally, so I like to just kind of try on all my different outfits and try and plan an outfit for each day and evening and lay it out on the floor. <sighs> Sorry to moan, but I didn't sleep very well because I've really, really hurt my neck and shoulder. I have no idea how, but I'm really hoping it gets better before an 11 hour flight because that will not be good. So anyway, I'm going to kind of get up, get dressed, have some breakfast and then get packing. Okay, so what I'm doing is laying out all the clothes that I think I want to take but I'm kind of over laying because then I'm going to go through and put them into outfits and kind of take things out but as I go I'm just trying things on this is the play suit I bought from Zara yesterday oh I'm out of breath it's got this kind of polka dot I don't know if you can see underlay and it's V and it's got this kind of crop toppy bit I don't know I kind of like it I wasn't sure but I just showed my mum and sister and they really like it this dress is a bit hippie um, here but I do kind of like it and I feel like it's good to have some dresses because I think apparently when you're in Anaheim at VidCon there's a few kind of parties in the evenings so I might take this with as one of the kind of evening options. Okay this can be another outfit, River Island top with Topshop shorts, I need to iron these. These sandals are basically going to go with everything so that's very handy. This top can also go with my denim shorts which are from Topshop. I'm going to take this dress because I love this dress and everyone always compliments me on it when I wear it. I like the shoulder detail. And I like the print, and it's very, um, what's the word? Floaty. Again, goes with the sandals, fine. This dress from Topshop, I'm not sure whether to take or not. Um, I think I might take it, maybe to wear um, at the Beauty Chat Live event. Um, it's quite thin to pack, so I might take it just in case. I feel like you can't have too many dresses. But I just don't know how flattering it is in photos, because it kind of just hangs, and um, I'm not sure. This is my Topshop top, blue top. I love the colour of this top, with... A leather skirt that I got, I can't remember, this one maybe Top Triple Zara last year. That could be a nice evening outfit. Now this I don't know about, it's like a two piece, um, long sleeved and shorts and I just don't know if it'll be too hot for this but then maybe I could wear it in the evening, I don't know and also I look a bit like a picnic table. I really like these shorts from Urban Outfitters but the only problem is they just look like pyjamas, no matter what I wear them with they just look like pyjamas. This is the long sleeve November night top, I think it's all too like baggy but even with like a tighter top, I don't know. I might take them with because they're pretty and they're comfy. This is what it looks like with a black top. A bit better. They still look like pyjamas. This is what happens when I pack. I suddenly just found myself sitting on the bed looking at my phone. I don't know how that happened. So I think I'm going to take these shoes and the same pair in nude when I can find them. And my weird um, heel things as well just in case. I'm not sure if I'll wear these but just in case I want a bit of height. And then I think bag wise I'm going to take my Brandy Melville fringed bag, this new one from Zara which is like perspex, it's really weird but it's small and I need just something light coloured and then this one which is Strathbury, that's like casual black, smart black, daytime 
light coloured. Okay, so I've put the Zara bag in the Brandy Melville bag and then I've put two pairs of sunglasses in the bag because this one can't squish down anyway so you might as well fill it with stuff. It's very important that I don't forget this. This is my Sephora card. I've still got like the papery one because obviously I don't shop there that often. But I'm going to take this with me because I'm definitely going to be doing some Sephora shopping while I'm there. Also this, I'm obviously not going to show you my card number. This is a Caxton card and this is really good if you're travelling abroad. You basically load money onto it and you use it like a debit card. But it doesn't charge you because obviously a lot of UK banks will charge you to use your card abroad. So Caxton FX is really cool. Okay, I've got bored of packing clothes, so I've moved on to kind of hand luggage stuff. I'm going to take this Aspinall of London bag, um, but I'm also going to take a little suitcase. Because we're going on Virgin, so you can take a handbag and a suitcase on as hand luggage. And I always think it's good too if I'm going somewhere like America and I know I'm going to be shopping just in case I need the extra space. But in my hand luggage, I'm going to take my... This is from Wild Fox. It's one of those, what are they called? Eye masks. And it's literally the softest thing in the world. I love it. I'm going to use this as my purse. Um, I don't want to take my Chanel one just in case I lose it and my sunglasses and then I'm going to take a clear plastic bag for my liquids but then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag for all the other beauty bits I need just like wet wipes and tissues and makeup remover I'm so impressed with this travel electric toothbrush that the lid comes off like that looks like that I mean to, to be fair it just kind of vibrates doesn't really do more than that but you basically pull down this bottom bit and that's where you charge it with this little cable I think that's so clever this is an essential for me when it comes to flying. It's the This Works Deep Sleep Stress Less Rollable. It just smells like relaxing goodness and stops me from freaking out and gets rid of the horrible aeroplane smell. I'm going to take the Lana Lips um, Antibacterial Hand Cream because it's moisturising but it's also antibacterial which is good if you are eating and stuff on the flight. Okay, I'm starving and I'm so happy because I think I'm going to make a raw pad thai. My friend um, Meg, who has the blog Lipso Facto, um, has a recipe up from like years ago that I'm going to use and I think I've got all the ingredients I need I'm not sure but I bought a spiralizer last night oh, where has it gone maybe someone put it in a drawer mm, now I actually have to find the spiralizer mm. ah So this is the one I bought yesterday, <sighs> steamy camera. This is only £25, which compared to like the big ones, um, I think it's a bit cheaper, but also it's just the size that's like quite a big deal because like, this is just handheld um, compared to those huge machines that no one has space for. And I used it last night when I made courgette and it was great. So I'm going to try it again and I'm going to make raw pad thai. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, I've kind of got the right ingredients, a few things missing. Um, I'm going to spiralise the courgette and two carrots. I've peeled the carrots and now I'm going to spiralise those two. Okay, I've added in my spring onion. Okay, now I need to use this little blender thing. This is my mum's. I'm going to have to buy one on my own because it's so handy. Okay, so into here goes a clove of garlic. The juice of one lime, which I'm going to use this. This thing is amazing. My mum's been going on about it for so long and I was kind of ignoring her, but she's right. It really like squeezes out every last bit of juice from a lemon or lime and catches all the seeds. So I'm going to use this into here. Now it says you can use peanut butter, almond butter or cashew butter. And we have all this almond butter that we need to use up, um, which we got from Costco. So I'm going to use this. Two tablespoons of this going in with the lime and garlic. Okay, so that's what the almond butter looks like in there. Tablespoon of soy sauce. Teaspoon of sesame oil, I love this stuff. A little bit of honey, like it says a third of a teaspoon. I'm gonna do like half a teaspoon. And then just a few chili flakes. I don't have any fresh chili, annoyingly. Now we need to blend this all together. I can get the lid on. And then I think I need to add a little bit of water to make it a bit runnier. Although my almond butter, butter was quite runny. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon. Okay, I've just given it a taste and added a bit more honey and a bit more chili because it was very lime, um, limey. <laughs> I'm gonna add this now to the courgette. I'm gonna pour this onto here. Put 
Meg suggests putting on top um, some avocado, sesame seeds and coriander, which I have none of, so I'm gonna have to leave mine just like this. But it still looks yummy and looks like it's gonna taste good. You can add chicken and prawns and whatever in it as well. This is a really quick lunch and I'm just kind of giving it a go. But I'll definitely try making it again with all the stuff. Now I need to tidy up the mess that I've created. I'm also gonna put a bit of this Thai chili sauce on top because I'm obsessed with it, I love it. Yum, I'm gonna go eat this now. Okay, while I have Casey Neistat's video resting there for me to watch, because I can't really do anything without having like a video on in the background, it's really bad. I need to learn how to like, um, like deal with silence. Anyway, uh, a little tip for packing shoes that you don't want to get squished, stuff them with um, underwear. This is not underwear, this is like a crop top thing. But yeah, I'm stuffing my sandals so that they kind of keep their shape. I think I'm going to take this on as like my check-in luggage and then I'm going to take a little one as hand luggage, which I never understand when people do that. They turn up to the airport with like 500 different suitcases, but this is like a work trip. So not only do I have to take like a lot of outfits, because normally if I go on holiday, I just wear the same thing every day and I don't care, but this is different. I've got like events to go to and stuff. So I'm taking a lot of stuff and I want to keep room to buy stuff. And I just hate that panicky feeling of whether my suitcase is going to be overweight or whether I'm not gonna be able to fit everything in. So taking that as a hand luggage is easy, especially because I need to take all my camera equipment. So I'll probably put that in here so it doesn't get damaged in here. Do you know I think I'm doing quite well. I'm not using packing cubes this time because I think sometimes they actually take up more space. I'm just kind of working with what I've got. I need to use that space somehow. Yeah, I haven't put any beauty stuff in yet. I haven't packed any of that yet, which is normally the heavy stuff, but I think it's going okay. Okay, this is what I'm gonna take skincare wise. Bioderma and cotton pads. These Skin Iceland eye gels. Uh, Sarah Chapman Serum, Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel, Luna Facial Oil in there, um, and I've decanted some Aesop Parsi Seed Mask, uh, Moisturise, I think that's Origins, because I just finished my Kate Somerville one, just in time for a trip to Sephora, and some shampoo and conditioner. By the way, finding mini shampoo and conditioner that's sulfate free is impossible. I went to Boots and all of the minis had sulfate in and because I've had a Brazilian blow dry I can't use sulfate so something to note very hard to find so I'm now going to just label these up using my trusty label maker that I love I know exactly what all these products are they definitely do not need labels but any other stationery lovers out there will understand the need to label these things this is incredibly satisfying I'm going to put the possibly could leak items in this little clear plastic bag before putting it in here. I think I'm just going to take um, in this kind of Chanel plastic thing because, I don't know, I always take the, those big Muji bags and they take up so much space. I also bought some of these Champneys muslin cloths. I think you get three in here um, because whenever I take my own one they take up so much space and these are all ready, really compact. So I'm just going to pop those in like that. Oh god, I just realised I forgot to finish the vlog. I've just been kind of eating dinner and I don't even know what I've been doing but... I'm now going to go downstairs to watch Nashville and I think this is the end of the vlog. I haven't really got anything else to say. I'm still packing, I haven't finished. That's about where that's come to and I've got stuff all over the bed and Rich isn't happy about it. Can you, Rich, can you pick that, that case and put it over here? Because I can't. Thanks. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm really sorry if this week's vlog has been boring, but I've just been getting ready to go away. But next week there are going to be two vlogs, LA Part 1 and LA Part 2. And I'm going to make so many videos about LA, you guys will be bored of it, but obviously I want to make as much content as I can. And I'm so excited, it's going to be, we, we literally have, we've got four or five days before VidCon in LA. And we've, me and Anna have every day and every evening taken up with something. We're going to be so busy, but I'm really excited. We're doing so many fun things, meeting up with loads of other YouTubers. We've got our Beauty Chat Live event. I hope we're not going to be jet lagged, but I'm going to vlog it all for you guys. So they're going to be two very long vlogs coming up. And yeah, that's about that. So when you watch this, I think I'll already be in LA. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.